Hey Leo, what's going on? I hope you're doing very, very well. My name is Diane, for those of you that don't know me, and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And we're gonna do a general reading for October, but you know, it's timeless. Uh, all of my readings are timeless, so whenever you happen to find this is when you were meant to see it. Um, you're very welcome here, Leo. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate it very much. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me, uh, I would appreciate that a lot as well. So let's see what is going on for you in October. Okay, you have the Ten of Swords. That's, um, what, what do you want me to do with that? <laughs> um, what else for Leo? You have the Death card nestled under there. So something's ending or a phase in your life is ending. You have the Empress. Empress is always a good card. Uh, the Empress talks about abundance, moving into receiving mode, uh, taking care of your health. You have a King of Wands here. Um, if you can hear a noise in the background, I have like a energy clearing thing on, so. Right, what else for Leo? That's too many. What else for Leo? Again, that's too many. What else for Leo? Thank you, it's still too many. <laughs> Just give me one. What else for Leo? So this could be someone coming into your life, this King of Wands. Um, there could be someone kind of watching you here, which could be love or it could be for your job. Um, could be a fire sign, but it doesn't have to be. It can be someone that like, they might run their own business or they're the boss or they're the CEO, um, or they're on stage, something like that. And you have the emperor here, the empress and the emperor. Um, so that's your, there's a divine match there. You also have the 10 of pentacles has come out here. So you could definitely be dealing with an Aries. And you have the king of wands and the emperor. Ooh, and the eight of cups. Interesting to have that there, right? Clarify the 10 of swords. <laughs> with the death card. Well, that's a very definite something's ending. You know, the death card can talk about um, like a dark night of the soul type thing. So you may have been through like some kind of horrible dark night of the soul. Um, it can talk about maybe a relationship ended. Maybe it's a phase of your life. Maybe you're walking away from a job. Maybe you're moving. Um, there is, I see the seven of cups here and the hierophant. So the seven of cups you know, the Seven of Cups talks about feeling like things are too good to be true. Um, and then the Hierophant talks about having faith. So there could have been a point in your life where you kind of lost faith a little bit or you were thinking like, I don't really want to progress with that thing because um, it's too good. it sounds too good to be true or something like that. Clarify the Empress. The Hermit. Okay. Okay, King of Wands with the Three of Cups. So that's either like, <clears throat> excuse me, someone that you're friends with or someone that wants to date you with the Three of Cups. Kind of looking like someone wants to date you probably. You have the Emperor with the Ace of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. And the Queen of Cups with the Eight of Cups. Okay, you have been doing, <clears throat> excuse me, I presume this is you, this Queen of Cups energy. <clears throat> um, that's an energy of boundaries, standing up for yourself. It looks like you've walked away from something or it could simply represent that you're no longer in the mood for people's shit with the Queen of Cups energy. Like you've kind of moved away from an energy of like being, you know, too nice or, letting people walk all over you or something, or <clears throat> the Eight of Cups is like moving away from things that just, frankly, they just don't serve you. You know, you've put your best effort into it. It's not working out. It's time to go. And that can be a job or people. Um, what is this thing that's ended? What's this Ten of Swords in the Death card? The Knight of Cups. So this kind of looks like 
uh, something to do with love that, that ended um, and now you're kind of ready to get back out there with the Knight of Cups. Looks like you've been keeping yourself to yourself. Yeah, the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is an energy of having been screwed over a bunch of times, you know, like a wounded warrior type energy. And now you're just like, you know what? Just don't touch me, okay? <laughs> don't touch me, don't talk to me, don't try and make friends with me. I don't wanna bone you, leave me alone. Uh, the Hermit is a card of keeping yourself to yourself, you know, like not dating, not trying to make friends, like not up for that-ish, just frankly not up for it. But during this phase, um, there may have been something that you learned, like a particular topic. I mean, for some of you, that could be spirituality. You know, you may have like boned up on spirituality um, during your hermit phase, or it can be anything like you learned a particular you know, skill or you studied something. Clarify the Ace of Swords, the Chariot. So there's some kind of movement forward here. The, the Chariot with the Ace of Swords is a very positive movement forward. The Ace of Swords is like there's some kind of breakthrough. This person that's coming in, they, they will be some kind of boss energy, but they're like nobody else you've ever dealt with before. Total breath of fresh air. Clarify um, the Six of Pentacles. Um, I'm gonna have to clarify that, but basically there's something here that you're kinda not wanting to do. <laughs> um, it could be like, it's one of two things. It's either you accepting help from people or it's you teaching people in some way or like being in a managerial position, uh, you know, and having information that you, to give people. But you're kind of like with the two of swords, you're like, no, I don't want to do that. So it's like, I don't need your help, you know, or I don't want to teach people. But the thing is, with that Ten of Pentacles, it would be a lot of money that's coming in for you via this Six of Pentacles. What is that? Imprisonment. What's the Six of Pentacles? Mm, mature woman, which is the Empress. So if you've been feeling stuck, there's some blocked energy here, Leo. Um, you may have been feeling like imprisoned. It could be about a house. You may literally feel imprisoned in a living situation and you're about to move. Because that's a card of, you know, this dude's in jail here and here it's somebody moving house. So it could literally be that for you. Um, but for others of you, it's like some kind of situation where you're feeling very stuck. It's like a physical stuckness though. You know, it's like, I, I can't, like I, I wanna move forward, but like I can't. That's gonna change for you. This is another couple here. You have the mature man and the mature woman. So you basically have the emperor and the empress twice. What's this two of swords? gift. So it's either like someone's trying to give you something or you have a gift. It's either like the universe is trying to give you something or it's like they're trying to give you something through another person and you're like, no. Nah. Or it's like you have a gift that you should be sharing, but you're like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> You guys can suck my balls. I'm not doing that. Tell me about, um, tell me about the Six of Pentacles. No, we're not ready for this yet. We're, we're gonna go into this deck. You know, it just came out there. 
Uh, the Queen of Swords with the Nine of Wands, so that's perfect. So the Nine of Wands, again, is like a kind of a wounded warrior. You know, like a lot of people have screwed me over, don't touch me, don't come near me, that's far enough, you just keep your distance, motherfucker. Um, and the Queen of Swords is again, you know, the same kind of energy, like, just, just, that's far enough. You know, like, not really trusting people, like the defense is kind of, um, being up. Oh, th that's what's coming to an end here. This Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, the Death card with the Ten of Swords. Is this, this Queen of Swords energy that you've been in, where you don't really want people around or you don't want to date? Because um, here you have the Nine of Wands and then this Nine of Wands has just wanted to get itself um, uh, upside down in reverse. You see that? When that happens, that's when you're going to meet this new person or they're going to come in. Um, so you guys could start off as friends, you know, with that Three of Cups energy, but there's an energy here of you just with this Two of Swords just being like, nope, nope, nah, -uh. mm -mm. nope. You have the Ten of Wands here, like a very heavy energy. You carry it well though. I think you're probably used to doing a lot of things by yourself or carrying heavy burdens by yourself or there's like heavy emotional burdens from the past that you carry but you you would never know. People would never know this about you. You seem very graceful and like carefree and stuff and like regal. It's kind of what's coming through with that Queen of Swords but Secretly you carry this heavy energy, but that's what that Knight of Cups is, like that's a card of someone that's, you know, here I am. Let's be friends or like let's date, you know, I'm willing to open up, that kind of thing. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. So that's something new when you have the Page of Pentacles. That's like a new job, a new business idea, diversifying into something new, uh, learning a new skill. But the thing is, it's going to make you a lot of money with that Ten of Pentacles. Like the Ten of Pentacles is signing a very lucrative job contract or getting a ton of clients or just some kind of like a windfall, but it's something that you've earned. You know, it's not, I mean, not that you don't earn the lottery, but you know, it comes through work is what I'm trying to say. Tell me about that Queen of Cups. Okay. Well, there you have a King of Cups right there. So there's someone that wants to come in, your little partner in crime. Emperor, Empress, twice, King and Queen of Cups. Okay, tell me, uh, tell me about the Six of Cups then, the Six of Pentacles, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna go in, I'm just, I'm gonna go into these. I want to see what this is. What is this gift? Time off is coming. Okay. <laughs> um, what is this gift that you're talking about? Successful self-employment. What's this gift? Recovering from a lack poverty mindset. What is this gift? Forgiving and healing the heart chakra. All right, this person that's coming in here, this King of Cups energy, that's very apt for a King of Cups. Um, could be excuse me, a Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces person 
could do like, you know, something creative or something to do with emotions or charity work or something for their work. Um, but the King of Cups is like a very, you know, sweet energy. Like they're very forgiving. They're just, they're just a lovely energy. So there's something about this person coming in. Not that you would be forgiving this person. It's just that they're a very sweet energy. I don't know why they're bringing that up. Why is this gift here? A promotion. You know, when you have that Eight of Cups, it generally talks about something that is like your divine purpose, like something that's going to get you on your path. Okay. I want to say that, sorry, that says past life stuff, but I feel like it's not appropriate. Um, what is this gift? You are safe and welcome here. All right, I'm not quite sure how these are connecting yet, but I want to say if you own your own business, there's there's some kind of gift that Spirit is going to give you, like you're going to get some time off. Because, you know, I run a business myself and it's difficult to get time off. Um, so, you know, if you run your own business, like that could be a, a thing if you haven't had much time off. Um, possibly, like there's some kind of sense of recovering from like a lack mindset could be like a blockage in your root chakra you know like there's an energy of coming into a space of like feeling safe so you don't have to work as much or you're not so scared about money what is the six of pentacles then you know it's like a gift that you're refusing yeah, this is you. See, it's not somebody giving you something. Like the Six of Pentacles is, this is you. You have some kind of information or knowledge to give to people, whether that is the form of an actual teacher, you know, like a school teacher or high school teacher, God bless your soul. Um, Cause I don't know about where you come from, but I know very well, they have very little control over the children in Scotland and many of them are terrifying because <laughs> I have met them. Um, but it could also be like teaching an evening class or you're a manager, you know, when you're giving out the gifts of your wisdom or you're writing a book or anything like that. There's some information that you have to give to other people in some way and it's gonna make you a lot of money. Spirit is almost saying, it's like, we're trying to give you this gift and you're like, nah, I don't want that shit. Yeah, even look, you have no at the bottom of the deck. You're just like, nah, I don't want that. But if you're really struggling, if you've been thinking about doing something new because you're like stressed out about money or you feel like you never get time off or something like that, this is the key. This teaching thing is the key. Like this leveling up is the thing that's going to break the back of your situation. And if you are feeling very stuck, it's been done deliberately so that you will step into this teaching role, which I feel like is a very harsh way to go about things, you know, but no one cares what I think. So I'll just uh, go fuck myself. <laughs> you have spirit is very proud of you. So they may, they, you know, they just want you to know that. Um, okay. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. It's, it could also be a promotion, you know, like somebody's trying to give you a promotion within your work and you're like, I don't want to do that. Sorry. <laughs> you know, with the Queen of Cups, it could be because you're worried about boundaries, you know, so it could be like a teaching thing or, you know, like teaching a class full of adults, but you're worried, um, how you would enforce boundaries in that case, right? Like maybe you're a little shy or <clears throat> you have problems with your throat chakra or something like that. But the thing is when you step into that role, like you'll either, 
you you'll just do it because you have to you know because I've kind of been in that situation myself it was like a, cl a class full of like 50 adults and you just do it because you have to because otherwise it's chaos you know something just happens like a switch just flips you have main female see there's something here the money comes when you step into this main female or main female uh, or main male role while I knock everything over. Um, tell me about this Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Okay, this is literally the solution. Look, solutions. This is the, the solution to your stuck problem. Transitions. So you could be in a bit of a transition. Yeah, there's gonna be a transition from this like crappy stuck energy that you've been dealing with to this freedom, basically. So yeah, if you're living in a shit situation, spirit's trying to get you, they're, they're doing it so that you'll take this teaching role, which again, I just think is really harsh, but whatever. Um, anything else about this 10 of pentacles? magnetism and love. I'm just going to take the top one. See, you're very magnetic at the moment, whether you think you are or not. And that's something that they're saying, like whatever this thing is, you'll be good at it because you're meant to do it when you have that eight of pentacles, uh, sorry, the eight of cups. So it's just, it's something, if you're meant to do it, then you'll be good at it. You know? Anything else about this 10 of pentacles? Oh, okay. Or something else, also fine. Why am I even here? <laughs> you wanna just take the cards and do it yourself, Spirit? You have new love. So that's this new bow that you have coming in here, King and Queen of Cups, Emperor, Empress. Um, someone new will adore the blank out of you. Tell me about this, um, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Don't you dare give up now. Have you been thinking about giving up? Moving house. I feel like for a lot of you, there's something going on with your home. Like maybe your home is like dragging you down. I know that feeling only too well. Um, maybe this is a message for me as well. <laughs> I hope so, hope I'm escaping. Yeah, for those of you that are in a, a crap living situation, you're gonna be moving house. So they're saying don't give up. You know, if your house is dragging you down, don't give up because you will be moving house. But I feel it's tied into this teaching thing. Uh, it wasn't a mistake. It was a lesson and part of your plan. So again, that could be about the house, you know? Because I'm really struggling with my house at the moment because this, um, this place that I'm living in, I actually bought this. This is like the first house I ever bought and I was so excited about it and it turned out like the evil lying little whore who sold it to me just lied about a bunch of stuff. So yeah, it's been tough. <laughs> and you know, she only moved down the road. Like the bare faced cheek of doing, like I would be like mortified if I had, I would never do this to someone but you know, if I had done that to someone, I would be mortified. Like, I would move far, far away. I wouldn't just move 20 feet down the road. You know what I mean? Ugh. Anyway, um, so yeah, I feel your pain. But they're saying if something like that has happened to you, like it wasn't a mistake, you know, it was part of your plan. It was part of the lesson. So there'll be a lesson that you were learning from that, which could just be like, people suck. I'm pretty sure that's my lesson for this shithole is like just don't be so trusting with people you know because i will never buy a property again after this i'll tell you that um if this house thing is not resonating for you like they're talking about this stuff from your past here you know you may whatever this ending was or whatever this harsh energy is that you're carrying around um 
you may feel like, well, that's not fair that this stuff happened to me or like, I don't trust people anymore or I just want to be by myself. But they're saying these things that happened, they weren't mistakes. Like you were meant to go through this for one reason or another. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do, Leo, is I'm going to go into the extended reading and we're going to ask about a bunch of things. I'm going to get some more cards about this um, new job and see if there's anything else they want to tell you. Um, and then we're going to ask about this person that's coming in, this King of Cups. We're going to get some messages from them. We'll get some foofy love cards about them. We'll get some characteristics about them. And we'll see if anything else wants to come out in the extended reading. Um, so if you want to watch it, I can't stress this enough. You have to be at the second level. Otherwise, you won't be able to see the extended reading. So you have to join at the 599 level. Um, the, the information for it is below. If you want to watch it, I would love to see it over there. But you know, either way, thank you so much for watching this reading. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I would appreciate it very much. And as always, I wish you many blessings, uh, love and light. Take care.